Hi, I'm Judy from Fox City's Quilt Company, and this is Sunday from the Sewing Room, where we give you tips, tricks, and a few tutorials to help you with your sewing and quilting projects. And if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button below. So today I am on week three of my trying to get organized in my sewing room. 10 minutes every week I'm taking to try and organize the mess that is my sewing room and it has to be just 10 minutes because that's a goal I can accomplish and it has to be sustainable. So I don't want you to get crazy and start doing color coded patterns um, in order by size and date and by, you know, I mean that's not sustainable. Um, so today I am at my ironing board, I have a big board on my, the top of my iron and underneath is basically just a baker's rack where um, I have just oodles of stuff that I have no idea what it is, how long it's been there, um, and what I'm supposed to do with it. So let me show you what I'm going to start with. Okay, so this is my big board and I have my um, my very favorite thing is my wool mat on the top. But underneath it is a train wreck and let me show you what I've got down here. Um, I have rope because I was practicing on doing something that I was hoping to teach in the future. A couple of zippers. Um, what is back here? Oh, a power strip that goes to absolutely nothing. What do I need that for? This is stuff, I, I don't know what it is, where it came from. I'll have to take a peek. Um, this is a jelly roll strip that belongs with another project. Um, piece of batting. This is a kit for a project that I'm making for Brandon. Um, some stabilizers, some fabric headers from a quilt wrap. I probably was using it for scraps for something. More scraps. Uh, more papers. Here is a towel, uh, dream green batting um, that probably belongs in the shop. Um, this is some velvet. I probably had a plan for it, but I don't even know what it is anymore. Um, it's just, like I said, it's a train wreck in here. Here is some Shannon Cuddle fabric, some batiks. There's some fat quarters up here. Oh, this is a pair of pants that I made. They're super cute, and I should really take them to shop because, you know, you can make more than just quilts with uh, cotton. It doesn't have to be uh, a quilt, so I made pants. Here's a tea towel. Here's a project bin for a project that I think is about 10 years old. Here is another project bin that I don't even know what's in there. And there is, oh my gosh, look at do you see all that? I, that's how long this stuff has been down there. So I this is what I'm going to take 10 minutes on. And, oh, you see what this is? This is from uh, Wisconsin State Shop Hop from two years ago. So I could probably take that to the, back to the shop. But this is what I'm gonna take 10 minutes on and see if I can get organized. Just 10 minutes because that's a goal that we can all achieve, just 10 minutes a week, and let's see how I do. Okay, so I'm all done. 10 minutes, remember the rule, just 10 minutes, because that's a goal we can all achieve. And the thing is, is I had to really get real about and be honest about what it is I needed, what it is I didn't need, and what just had to go back to the shop. Um, so I, don't encourage anybody to throw anything out. Um, I encourage you to donate it if you can. Pr donate it to Project Linus. Donate it to um, an assisted living center where they have a, a program director that does crafts or an entertainment director so that they could use it. But if you're not going to use it and you think it's horrible and it's not something that you would want donated to you, don't donate it. You just have to be honest with yourself and say, do I really need this? Do I not really need this? And let me show you what it is that I got done. Okay, folks, so this is underneath that sewing uh, or that ironing table. 
Um, I did keep these because I am working on a project for those and they are pretty uh, high priority and I'm going to get those done within the next week. This is just a kit. Um, my husband really liked this kit and he wants me to make it for him. So I am going to be making that. And so remember that from last week, the two project bins I had left over, well, I was able to utilize them under here. So I have this one that I was able to use and this one that I was able to use. The others were already here. I decided to prioritize these from top to bottom in the way that I wanted to get these accomplished. So this is my one for Tim. I really want to get that done for him. And then Brandon comes next with his project in that tote. And then there's another one here and so on and so forth. And there's a couple here. And as you can see, the rest was just literally disaster and that meant nothing. So look at all that space I have just because I got honest with myself about what I was going to use, what I wasn't going to use, and what I might donate. The rest of everything else is up here. Look at this. All of this can go to back to the shop and where it where it belongs in the first place. And instead of just squirreling that away and waiting for later, I'm going to grab a bag right now and put it in my car so I have no excuses uh, about getting this stuff back to the shop. So that's it. It was pretty easy. Just 10 minutes. If I gave myself 10 minutes a week, I just feel so much better about my creative space. This is Judy from Fox City's Quilt Company's Sunday at the Sewing Room. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.